When audio signals are sent between two analog devices, the electrical flow is governed by the impedance, the opposition to the flow of the electrical signal. Impedance, sometimes indicated by the letter Z, is measured in ohms, in some cases kiloohms or megaohms. Audio devices in the studio have both output impedance and input impedance, and when signal is sent from one to the other, the relative value of output to input impedance is an important aspect of maintaining proper signal transfer. In the old days, output and input impedance were often both set at 600 ohms, matching impedance. You might come across this if you incorporate actual vintage gear into your analog studio racks. But for a long time, studio gear has been designed to operate with bridging impedance, where a device's input impedance is typically at least 10 times the output impedance of the device feeding it. This optimizes voltage transfer and is the way modern analog studio gear operates. Different types of audio signals, mic signals, line level signals, instrument signals, like from electric guitar, all have not only different signal levels, but different input impedance requirements which is why there are dedicated inputs on audio interfaces which provide not only the appropriate gain, but also the correct input impedance for each signal type.